Industry Insider coming to you from Cherry Rock 014. Joining me, uh, a man you will always see on the front door, a man you will always see on your way out the door, Slug. How are you, my friend? Good, thanks, mate. Yourself? I'm not too bad, mate. Thanks for thanks for taking time out uh, on your busy schedule. I know you got to kick people Jesus. in and out. Yeah, no, cheers, man. It's been flat out today. Uh, it's been eight years of Cherry Rock. Yeah, full on. Uh, full on. What's my report card, first and foremost? Is it all right for the eight years of Cherry Rock? Yeah, no, like, look, people have been really, really good over the years since, what, 2006. I think there's only been six people last to leave. Yeah. You know, it's just intoxication, but that's the law, so, yeah. So you get them out? Yeah, just ask them nicely. They normally leave, so, yeah. What are, you, what are your favourite moments of Cherry Rock? You, you, you get to meet everyone because you get to look after them all. You get to see them come in, you get to see them come out. Favourite moments? Jesse the Devil. Yeah. Got to say that. He's a good friend. You know, he's a great man. Watching Dan, Don Fernando today kick ass on stage was awesome. And, and also the Red Coats, just amazing. Um, one of the most memorable moments was um, Rose Tattoo. Angry, just scarred for life and a ballad in between the middle of the song. Amazing. Airborne, you know, it's all good. Every year's good, so. And getting to chat with you every now and then and seeing who you interview, <laughs> you know, so. Ah, oh, stop it, mate. You're, you're, you're uh, flattering now, flattering. Oh, you, 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 you've done us justice, so, yeah, it's like, wow. If you hear me, um, What's, um, if you hear that I'm getting comfortable with myself. You, you know, uh, year in, year out, you see uh, you crowd, see crowds coming in and coming out. Do you, are there new crowds coming in and coming out? It's changed uh, are younger a bit. younger kids? A lot of, how's it changing? It's changed a bit, you know, like, we're all getting older, you know, so the younger ones are growing up, so. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit different to what it used to be when I first started coming here. Yeah. You know, like Cherry Bar used to be like lying out, out, out the front and music trivia questions used to get asked to you to get in. Unless really? You, unless you knew manager. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you didn't know the music trivia, you didn't get in. But if you knew people in the bar, that's how I got in first. That was about 13 and a half, 14 years ago. Um, you know, like the first one to ever scratch their name in the bar was Mike Clark from Suicidal Tendencies. So I brought him in. Yeah. And it's like, when Billy had it, you know, it was a bit different. It was more exclusive, rock and roll bar. Um, now it's just like everyone knows Cherry. Cherry's worldwide known. Yeah. You know, all the musos from around the world come through the door and they have a really good time. You know, just treat the musos like normal human beings. That's what they are. But, you know, it's like... How did the, how did the bar scratching start? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Mike Clark from Suicidal Tendencies. I brought him in about 13 and a half years ago when I was doing the Vans Walk Tour. It was them, Pennywise, Grinspoon, um, oh, Deftones, and I brought Mike Clark in, Clarky, and basically we were just standing there and it was a little bit quiet and he's I'm like, what are you doing brother? He goes, put my name in the bar, man. You know, there was no cover on, over the bar anymore. I mean, back At the then, time, yeah. it was just like painted on, on the glass. So he was able to scratch his name in and that's how it all started. And um, yeah. So that's pretty funny, and it was like, yeah, that's. And that's going from there. Do you, who, who, who else do you know that's been on the bar? Who You're else? Right? Who else is on that bar that people could have a look at if you know? Oh, you know them. we got like a young young skater Shane Cross that passed away. Um, people, if they in the skating, they they know who he is, and he's a good friend of the bar. And Jake Duncan, he was like a little brother to him. So and Jake's like a pro skater. Yeah. So yeah, we've had them all through the door, you know. And, um, Basically all good. So yeah.